Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Evo templates with Gmail. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. So but before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we actually create email templates with Gmail? Well, it's actually pretty simple and I'm going to make it as simple as I can for you. So in this case, how do we get started? So first things first is there's going to be some requirements here. So first is you need to have a Google Chrome installed in your PC as well as a Google account that you can choose, uh, use. So basically I'm using Google Chrome here and I'm in my Gmail account. So what we need to do next is we need to install an extension. So for us to properly use or create email templates here, which are actually HTML of files that we could repeatedly use. So what we need to do is install an extension. So typically on your Google Chrome at the top right, you should see a puzzle piece icon. So let's go ahead and click on it and choose the option here that says manage extensions. Now from here, choose the option here that says Chrome Web Store and go ahead and click on it. And that should actually load up the Chrome Web Store here. So what we need to do here is we need to search for an extension to so go to the top right here to the search extensions and teams. And we want to type in the following, which is going to be a Gmail template. And from here, just press on enter and you should be able to see a different applications that you could use for making a Gmail templates. But in this case, we'll be looking for the template or extension here that says Gmail email templates by Cloud HQ, which is personally what I'm currently using right now. But since I want to show you the whole process, I actually uninstalled uh, uh, Cloud HQ here or Gmail email template. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, let's go ahead and click on add to Chrome. And from here, click on add extension. Now, uh, while we wait for it to successfully install, uh, templates is a good way for you to uh, basically manage your emails. Like for example, if you have the repeated template that you frequently use and you just want to update, like for example, uh, some certain aspects on it, like for example, a name, those are the things you just need to change. And well, using templates could actually save your time and make things a lot easier for you. Now it's going to welcome you here in Cloud HQ email templates. So you can go ahead and read through all of those and you should be able to see some details and steps on how to do things here on Cloud HQ. But for now, let's just go ahead and exit this one and it's going to give you some instructions on how to do things here. But for now, let's just go ahead and exit this one. Now, how do we start creating our email templates? So first all we need to do here is we have to connect or create our account in Cloud HQ. Now typically once you actually install Cloud HQ, you should see an icon here that says Cloud HQ. You can go ahead and click on it and just click on log in to Cloud HQ. And from here, you just need to basically log in or sign up. But since I already have my account here, let's just go ahead and choose our account here. Click on log in and provide all necessary details. And on the next page, you should be able to be logged in into Cloud HQ. Now in here in the Cloud HQ apps, you should be able to see some other tools that you could use. But in this case, there's going to be a lot that you'll be able to see in Cloud HQ. So our focus here is going to be Gmail email templates. Go ahead and click on Gmail email templates and you should be able to see your Gmail and email templates here. Now, once you actually scroll down a bit, you should be able to see your templates that you could use. Now, again, there's going to be a lot that you'll be viewing here, but the most important section here is going to be your templates. As you can see, I already created my template before, but we want to create a new one. So go ahead and choose the option here that says new template. And from here, you have the option to name a template. So maybe I want to say there's going to be a sample template here. And from here, we want to choose the option that says HTML design email templates. But if you want to use the text only email templates, which is used for business or sales email, you could go ahead and use that. But if you want to use or the purpose of your email here is for marketing emails, choose the HTML design email templates here. Now in this case, go ahead and click on create and make sure that you choose the appropriate option here. So for now, I choose the HTML template here. It's going to start creating my template and it should now be appeared in here. And as you can see, we created our template. In this case, we need to start editing our template. So let's go ahead and click on edit here. 
and it should load up another tab in our browser. And as you can see, it's going to say edit HTML here. So it's going to load up the editor. So let's just wait for it. So this is going to be the first look of our email template. Now in this case, you could go ahead and start editing whatever content you want to add here. Like for example, if you want to move uh, certain aspects, and for example, this one, if you want to move it uh, down here, you can go ahead and press on the uh, move icon here. But if you want to edit a specific content or duplicate it, you can go ahead and click on the duplicate icon here or delete icon if you want to. Now in this case, uh, the editing option here is actually pretty easy because it's actually UI based. Now depending on how you edit things, like for example, text here, I actually just click on this section here. So it's going, you should be able to change some things. Like for example, you want to say this is going to be a, this is a sample text. So I just say, uh, type this in, I can make things bold or underline it if I want to, add a strike to if I want to, change the color if I have to as well. Now let's say I want to move, uh, remove this section here or this image here. So choose the delete option here and you could go ahead and do that uh, any element that you want to remove here. But if you want to add a new element as well, so on the right side, you should be able to see different icons here. So under the content tab, you should be able to see or add columns, headings, text, images, buttons, divider. So maybe maybe I want to add an image here. So let's just uh, press and hold on it. And as you can see, we'll be able to add a section here and we'll be able to upload an image at the right side. So let's go ahead and click on upload image here and choose an appropriate image here. So this is just what, an example. I'm going to use a random, random image here and that should be able to be uploaded into my template here. So in this case, you can go ahead and do that. So you also have the option to add alternate text here. So alternate text is a great way for you to describe your image just in case it doesn't load up properly. Also have the action here, like for example, URL. Uh, if you want to, uh, if someone actually clicks on this specific image, they will be redirected to another uh, link or tab or website if you want to uh, have, add that action. But I also have the send email or call for a uh, call phone number option here as well. Now I also have the container padding here. Uh, for example, this is going to be the spacing that you have on your image here. As you can see, we were able to increase it and on it. Now, in this case, depending on what element or what element that you actually add here, you should be able to edit uh, the aspects or properties on it. So, for example, if you want to add a button, you could go ahead and just press and drag it into here. And you should be able to edit the button text. Like, for example, you want to remove this section here. And if you want to change the color, you should be able to do that here. First, I'll make this back and a lot more. You could go ahead and do that as well. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just go wild here. Start designing your uh, template. It's actually pretty easy because it's actually a drag and drop uh, way of you editing your uh, text here and whatnot. So it's something really, really cool and something really, really fast that you could do on your account here. But in this case, once you're done, you could go and click on create email campaign here and that should actually create your email template. It's going to save that and it would actually redirect you back in here. Now, in this case, uh, you are now have your email template here. So we are now ready to use it on our Gmail. So let's go back into Gmail here and we want to click on the compose button at the top left here. And usually at the bottom right here, you should see the insert template option. So go ahead and click on it and it should load up uh, Cloud HQ here. So it's going to say browse templates. So under the uh, browse templates here, you should be able to choose different templates. So if you didn't create, like for example, since we actually created our template via the cloud HQ here, you won't have the option uh, to choose different templates that I actually offer, or free templates that I have right now. So if you want to create a new one via this templates or this templates as to basis, you could go ahead and do that as well. But if you go to the other tabs here, like for example, we want to go to my templates. Uh, this is are going to be the templates that we recently created. So as you can see, we have the sample template here that, that what we did before. So just choose that one. And from here, it's going to load our template. And as you can see, we were able to load it and we just need to change certain aspects of it. Like for example, we have the option to change the title itself, the recipients, some certain aspects on it. Like for example, if you want to change the name on it and some links, if you want to, to pers uh, personalize what your email is gonna, going to contain and a lot of those. 
But once you're done, you could go ahead and just click on send. So maybe I want to send this to myself. So let me just enter my email address here. And from here, let's just click on send here. And from here, as you can see, we were able to send this to ourselves with the template that we just created. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.